First and foremost, man, I would like to tell Five God, man, keep his guards up. Be riding with him. And anybody out there that want to be a star, I don't got to worry about a big YouTuber dying on your thighs, dancing. Don't fuck with Hassan Campbell. Hassan Campbell, what he's doing is he got these two dudes on his platform. He got an old school dude that just came home from doing about 20 years. Then he got Pillsbury Doughboy over here. A knockoff version of Five God. I tell them all the time, you got this shit in your back pocket. Y'all can play with the numbers. Y'all can do whatever y'all feel y'all need to do. You heard? This shit gonna go up in flames, man. You heard? That's facts. This shit gonna go That's up in flames. When it's, when it's here done, Ooh. it's gonna really be too much motion. <laughs> you heard? Too when much it's, motion, when it's, everybody. Year, when it's here done, it's gonna really be too much motion. And a whole lot of bag bragging and boasting, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's, we it's, telling y'all now, man. This is January. Yeah, it's gonna be Talk close. to us in December. When we dropping that motion video, man? Yeah. We're dropping tomorrow or tonight. Tomorrow. Tonight. Tomorrow or tonight. It's here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's here. You gave it to him already? It's here. It's here. It's here. Oh, my God. It's here. Oh, it's probably getting crazy, man. That's how, that's how I move, boy. You see Fat Boy right here in the middle of the Pillsbury Doughboy nigga. I guess he claimed that he's sex money murder or whatever. Trendy or whatever. Bro, he don't got the talent that Five Guard got, and this ain't no dick. This ain't no dick riding shit. Like Five Guard is a genuine dude, man. I don't even know Five Guard, but Five Guard had reached out to me a few months back, and you know what I'm saying they was working on a script, man. You know what I'm saying for this hood. For this hood is like a, you know what I'm saying, like a hood reality series type shit. You know what I'm saying, and you know what I mean. He reached out to me for an offer. I just couldn't take it at the time, you know what I'm saying? Because I was just going through my own little family personal shit. But, um, you know, he didn't have to reach out to me and offer me a position, you know what I'm saying, to, to you know, star in this little, you know what I'm saying, little movie, little miniseries, you know what I mean? Some hood shit, you know what I mean? But um, I just wanted to say that it's crazy because Hassan Campbell, he had kissed and made up. With the with the colonizer, the Chinese boy, China Mac, and he was just talking about how you know what I'm saying his own kind, you know what I'm saying when it comes to him going against another race, they jump on him, but the first chance he get, he'll try to slay his own brother, or a dude that he once called his brother, a dude that once kept him safe in these streets, especially in the Bronx, because Hassan Campbell, he runs around and. He talks shit on the internet, and then he used other niggas, other street niggas that been in jail, that been in the streets busting their gun. He used them for protection, and then when he felt like he can't use them no more, he tried to kick them to the curb. That's the type of shit he on. But this dude right here in the middle that called himself a rapper, he don't got the talent, the swag, the charisma that Five Guard got, man. Five Guard, you see... I heard the way this nigga rap, the nigga in the middle here, and his boss is like on some 1999-2000 type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not what the young boys want to hear now. And I, I'm just keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Too much motion. Shout out to Yowda, man. 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 man. Good brother, man. Sure, good, bro. solid individual, man. When you see us, it's only good brothers and solid men around us. You're not going to see no grease balls. You're not going to see no snakes. You're not going to never see us on the internet snaking each other. Like, well, this is my brother, right? This is my uncle. If I have an issue with how we get on the phone and we just talk, bro, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh man, time. We get on the phone, yo, bro. What's up, bro? Let's figure it out. Like, y'all think it's crazy, bro? That's crazy. Let me say something. Everybody is not invited. Let me say. Let me say something, right? Because I want people to understand something, right? 
Stop comparing. Swelly the five dog. They don't got no plan B. I'm on already. We gonna make it already. Stop. They don't got stop. No plan Listen, B. I, what, I, what I want y'all to do, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Look at me when I'm talking to you, son of a bitch. Stop comparing Swelly to Five Guard. Because if you're going to compare Swelly to Five Guard, then that means Swelly got to be a piece of shit too. Because here, here's the thing I want you to understand, son, right? When you love somebody, right? When you give them your all. He wasn't a piece of shit, man. When when he was all in his videos and he was dancing. And he had, he was out there with the, with the Mac on him. Holding you down, protecting your life. Remember that song, Come Outside with the Shooters? Come Outside with the Shooters. Yeah, that song was fire, man. Shout out to Five Guard, man. I'm not going to front. I heard a couple of your joints and see me. In order for you to get my attention, you got to be saying some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it got to be some shit that I can relate to. Or it got to be some punchlines, some crazy punchlines or bars like... If you not talk, if you got some 1999 outdated bars, nobody don't want to hear that shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Everything that you got, you share everything. Even take your coat off your back and you give it to them. And they still find a reason to have a beef with you. When anything and everything that you have, you offer to them. If we... Decide I go our separate ways. Yo, Swelly, I ain't fucking with you. I ain't fucking with you no more, Hosley, but... All right, cool. You might think twice or two. Like, God, should we have that fallout? Fuck, we ain't gonna fuck with each other. But it's not supposed to feel good to go at each other on the internet. Save this live, because you never, ever in your life will see me on the internet talking about my brothers and niggas I really love and I really rock with. So save this love. You never gonna see me. That nigga look out of shape, man, compared to Five Guard. Five Guard look like he'll fold that nigga. Like, G shit. Look how fat that nigga is. All fat and out of shape. This supposed to be the replacement of Five Guard, man? This nigga right here? What are you talking about? You on the internet. Poppy, you never Rico. You're never gonna. Blake, you are never gonna see it. See, I don't know how I don't know how old Five Guard is, you know what I'm saying? But I know he's in my age bracket. I'm 36 years old. I know Five Guard is around my age bracket, so I can relate to a lot of shit that he be talking about in his music. No cap. I don't understand that language. One thing that my pops always told me: whatever you you get in my crib, you get your head smacked off for going outside and talk about what just happened in the house. Big facts. And my pops was my pops, and he was a lot of my brother's pops also. Yeah. Got this young Pillsbury Doughboy nigga tr thinking he trying to school somebody. That nigga wet behind the ears, man. That nigga ain't been through no shit. You can look at his face. You can look in the nigga face and tell if they've been through some type of war or something in their life, bro. You can see the pain all over their face, no matter how much they smile. Crack a fake smile. You can always see the pain on their face, bro. This Pillsbury dope boy, out of shape boy, nigga, man. He, he ain't got no pain in his face, man, in his eyes, man. Look at him, man. He, he just looking for clout, man. He just dick riding Hassan Campbell because Hassan Campbell's a popular YouTuber. That's just using him right now. Just using him. And then when, you know what I'm saying, he done using him, he going to do what he did with Five Guard, man. This nigga's a fucking cornball, man. But this is the nigga that y'all love and support. A nigga that plays on the community's emotions and takes advantage of them and don't do shit for the community. You will get your head smacked off for whatever happened in the house going up. Then he got this fat Pillsbury Doughboy nigga talking crazy like, nigga, you ain't smacking nobody, bro. Uh, niggas will crunch you. Niggas will crunch you in, in, in seconds, my nigga. You look like a huffer and a puffer, nigga. Like, you don't look like a nigga that holds your wind, bro. You can't go for five minutes, bro. I'm talking about pound for pound, throwing vicious blows. You fat, man. You out of shape. Her son is out of shape. All that fucking money that you getting, bro, and you looking like that, you all fat and flabby around the waist. You got fucking deflated balloon arms. Fucking arms look like they fucking about to deflate. You fucking, 
You stick a fucking needle in your arm, your fucking arm going fucking... Come on, man. Serious? And this is the nigga right here that you, that's supposed to be the replacement of Five God, man. You was better off sticking with Five God, man. It's a, Five God got a better image to him, man. This nigga right here is not marketable. He's not going nowhere, bro. He don't look marketable. This is not what the industry is looking for, man. They looking for niggas that got that look. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas in shape. You feel me? Because you promoting your music not only for the niggas, it's really for the bitches. Like, Pac said that shit a long time ago. That's how he put Biggie on the game. He said, when you make music, you got to make music for the bitches. Fuck the niggas, because the bitches is always going to support your shit. Niggas is always going to be haters. You're not even marketable, my guy. You don't got no expensive designer on, no drip, no ice on, no boogers in your ears, nothing. You just, you're like a nigga that's starving, man, coming up, man. And you don't realize what this nigga's doing. He's just using you right now for bait, man. Outside and saying anything. What happens in your house stays in your house. Right. Y'all niggas don't understand that. If you this RIU shit, man, this shit real different, bro. This shit moral values principles, man. Like real codes, man. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mafia codes. No women, no kids. And you don't understand that. Li- A song put this nigga music up on his platform, and the shit only did like what? 5K? 6K or some shit like that? Her song got well over 300,000 subscribers. That's pitiful. But when you posted Five Guard shit, Five Guard shit was going like 15, 20,000. You see the difference in the, in the, marketable, the, the, the marketable? When I say niggas not marketable, bro, you're not marketable. You can't market that nigga, bro. He not in shape. And his bars is trash. I could see if he had some good bars and. You know what I'm saying? He was talking some hot shit, but the nigga don't be saying shit, bro. Everything else a go. And it's people you see around us, the different sets of people from Hellbound to Scream Team to Cortland and all them, like, it's the same code of conduct, man. Simple, man. Man, sit your old ass down, man. Stop screaming out blocks like you some young nigga, man. You ain't no young nigga, man. You just came home from doing, like, what, 15, 20? You grandpa now, man. Bully was raised by his father, which means he had a man in his life to show him how to be a man. And when you see a, 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 a situation like R.I.U., I don't think I heard what he said, like, yo, all of my friends was raised by my fathers and my father's friends, too. See, when you go to those barbecues and there's a man at the barbecue with a bunch of kids, not like you niggas on the... I ain't the flyest nigga in the world, you heard. I'm a family man. As long as I got transportation and get from A to Z, and my kids is all right, my kids dress better than me, I'm Gucci. I don't care about all that fly shit. I'm not no rapper. But for this dude, R.I.U., whatever the fuck his name is, he promoting himself to be a rapper... And he looking bummy and fucked up like that, bro. At least the, the nigga five guard, the nigga every time, you know what I'm saying? And this ain't no dick riding shit, but the nigga be on his flea. He be on his fly boy shit. The nigga be dressing like he got a rap deal. You know what I mean? This nigga don't dress like he got no fucking rap deal. He ain't got no, no big ass herc on his neck or, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got no gold in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He ain't... He just don't fit the rapper image, bro. So stop trying to push this nigga. It's not going to work for him. Internet right now, you go to their, like, you go to their gram, you go to their Facebook, there's no kids on your shit. Y'all niggas is too real to be around kids. They got about 20 kids. That nigga's in the club every night doing this. We used to walk in my pop's crib, right? He catch everything. That's how I knew how much he's paying attention. We walk in the crib, right? We come in the crib 20 feet, we go in the room, we doing whatever, we change the clothes, blah, blah, blah. he come in the room, what y'all little niggas doing? Oh, boy. What? Like, we go in the room, we, we change clothes, yo, let me holla at y'all, what y'all, all y'all little niggas coming in this room. Why y'all change your clothes? Yeah. Huh? 
What y'all up? He, he caught, and I, I tell my pops all the time. I say, yo, you was a real good dad. Like, you caught everything, pops. I said, I ain't get it when I was younger because I'm young. Mm-hmm. I said, you was a real good dad. You caught everything. You ain't missed nothing. When we was feeling pain, you felt that. When Ooh. we was happy, you felt that. You ain't missed nothing. Nice. I said, I hope to be like that when I have kids with my kids because you ain't missed nothing. You took all your time out and focused on this. And Mama. you know what your pops was thinking? You know the crazy part about it is? No, no, no. What he was thinking is every time he looked at his son, he said, look at my boy. Yeah. And that's why that that's why that connects him. When he sit up there, he said, look at my boy, and I'm proud of my boy. No matter what my boy do, I'm here to get in his ass and let him know you're going the wrong way. But he go, when, when I speak to him, he's going in the right way. That's what a father's supposed right. to do. How many of you dudes out there is being a father to your child, man? Right. That's my way. I think a black, if black men learn how to get custody of their children, will change the narrative. Moral of the story is Hassan Campbell. Stop. You claim that everybody that your own people is against you when it comes to you beefing with other motherfuckers outside the race, but here you are trying to bring your own brother down. Stop trying to bring your own brother down. Uplift him. Be the bigger man in this situation. Have a grown man conversation. Stop using other niggas to dish your homie. Because at one, uh, 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 once upon a time, that nigga kept you safe when niggas wanted to get on your ass. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. This your boy Call Out TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We got more content on the way.